case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. In a 1973 case heard by the Oregon Supreme Court, Portland Section of Council of Jewish Women Verve. Sisters of Charity of Providence dealt with the concept that even an old contract can still be enforced if there is proof of intent and proper fulfillment of the party's responsibilities under the contract. The case centered on a 1927 agreement between a Jewish women's charity and a hospital corporation. The hospital was required to provide perpetual ward accommodations and services to one person at a time designated by the charity. In return, the charity would pay $5,000. Although no signed contract was found, the court discovered evidence of the agreement through unsigned copies of two contracts, a hospital record entry, and a journal listing patients whose charges were written off to the Jewish endowed bed. The hospital contended that the statute of frauds and lockes prevented enforcement of the agreement and that it could not be held liable for an agreement made by its predecessor. However, the court found that the charity's payment and money retention constituted sufficient performance of the contract, making the hospital liable for the contract to the same extent as its predecessor. The court issued a decree specifically enforcing the agreement, requiring the defendant hospital to honor the perpetuity contract with the Jewish women's charity by providing hospitalization services to one designated person at a time for $5,000. The trial court's decree was modified to limit care to needy and legitimate Jewish patients. The modified decree was affirmed and no appeal costs were allowed for either party. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit LSE.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.